I don't know if I've ever seen a player have as much fun as Bill Leroy. He embodied what it's like to be a banana. He, he's insane. He's crazy, but he's always going to bring that personality. The fans love him. It's about the impact you're making on others. It's about how you think about the fans. He just embraced it. It might be him hitting BP in his boots and his Daisy Dukes. Plays with a lot of enthusiasm, and that's what makes Bill Bill. Yeah! There you go, baby. small town feel growing up we used to say that there's nothing to do here you kind of had to make your own fun yeah um definitely like gotta said. make your own fun you know it's just a place we've come to grow it's it's just come become home and you know it's a good place for your kids to to grow up and you know we're just a little middle georgia town you know people love the lord here and, and for the most part we all get along and, and have a good time at most most things we do a good time for me is if I'm fishing in a boat or if I'm on a golf course or hanging out with buddies and I know here I'm five to ten minutes away from enjoying all those things. So that's what I love about being close to people I know in this little town. So. Well, we, I started him and my daughter with a pair of hunting socks and when I was about two I'd throw it to them and they started catching it with their hands instead of catching them like this, like most kids do. And I told my wife, I said, well, I said, they're going to be some athletes because they're catching it with the, you know, have good hand-eye coordination. We noticed that, you know, we, we kind of felt like he was special with athletic ability, that he would probably, you know, go to college to play ball or something one, one of these days. And, and as he got in middle school and high school, I feel like he really showed a lot of leadership. In his younger years, he played a lot. He played up a level, you know, when he, when he was 13, 14, 15, he was playing with 17, 18 year old guys. So, you know, I think that really kind of made him grow up a little bit and be more, more of a leader. Every time we would go through the Dairy Queen drive there, he wanted two double cheeseburgers and a large milkshake. Mm -hmm. And so we would, I, of course, being the little mama, uh, we would always say, no, Bill, either one or the other. Can't have all three. Either one burger and a milkshake or two burgers and no milkshake. Yeah, my trial team called me Cheeseburger. That was my nickname. I didn't so. know you would deprive because I know. They, exactly. <laughs> she, she wouldn't even let me enjoy my childhood. <laughs> I like milkshakes and I like hamburgers and I couldn't have both of them. Last day beat too. We got beat. We got beat game one, then game two. We come back, and I was like, okay, last day beat here. Two guys on. I'm gonna tie it up right here. And then my OO swing that I always take. That OO swing that I never hit anything, just swung hard, made the crowd go, ooh. I finally connected, finally connected with, with one right there towards that light pole, and dude robs a home run. Yeah, I thought it was going. You know, Bill is a unique character. You know, he's a fun loving guy. Uh, so, you know, he was a guy that, first off, uh, he, he knew how to have fun, had a lot of fun, but then he also knew how to, how to prepare and, and what it took, uh, you know, to be a winner. So, uh, as a player, Bill was a great guy. Uh, he, he always, you know, when you show up to practice, you knew what you were going to get out of Bill, um, and he was going to he was gonna play the game the right way. Um, then off the field, you know, Bill's, he's just gonna have a good time wherever he's at. You know, he's, he's always gonna be the life of the party, so you know he's gonna be there. Um, most of the time you heard him before you saw him, so. 38! Blue 4 2 said, hey! Bill drops back, rolls out to the right. He sees Coach Bob and hits him on the run. First time I met Bill, uh, I was coaching at our arch rival school when I coached with his granddad, who we call Pops. He was our kicking coach. So we would come up for meetings and all, and we'd see this little kid. He was, I don't know, nine or 10 years old. Um, he's out there kicking 30 pound, 40 yard field goals. They had, me, they had me kicking some footballs earlier, and I told them I, all of that credit goes to you. I don't know why. You had a daddy that could kick, too. <laughs> yeah, but you, you're the one that taught me how to kick. Are we on the camera or are we just talking? We just talking. Okay. <laughs> we just talking. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm pretty. You know what? Well, have I, sh have I showed you the picture of me playing in a kilt? Have you seen that picture yet? No. Well, I played, I played pretty much in a skirt. 
What you think about that? Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> So, uh, we got you a little present. Who? I did. When? So, last summer, when we played in the kilts, and I hit that walk-off, I had a walk-off that went about two or three feet, and I beat it out, and three runs scored, and we won in the kilts game, and I hit it with this bat, and I'm gonna give it to you, and I want you to have it. And I'm gonna put it with my, with God, I think. <laughs> yeah, I want you to keep it. You can put it with your wooden fungo. What, what you think about that? How did you swing it? I, I swung it like an axe. That's way out of balance. I know. You, um, you gotta, you gotta. You, you didn't bat with it. Did I you? surely did. Huh? You gotta have some muscles to get that around. That's a little too short for me. <laughs> the camera, the camera has been rolling the whole time, and you didn't even know. No, it don't matter. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna talk the same way. Yeah, anyway. exactly. You didn't even have to know. No, I didn't need That was good. You did a good job. Yep. You say go bananas? Go bananas. There you go. We ready. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! With the bananas, we've kind of seen a, a different side of Bill that we didn't really see so much of with the, the outgoing crate. He's always been kind of a humble spirited kind of, you know, we, when he started with the bananas, we were like, where did this kid come from? <laughs> Must have opened up when he went to college, I reckon. Yeah, he just, you know. I think I watched a video of him, and he was having a dance, or he was in a banana costume. And I, I don't forget what it was, but I tell you, I was like, dude, what, what are you doing? He's like, man, I love it. And I was like, well, it's kind of like right down your alley right there. Uh, I wasn't expecting baseball to take me where it has. I had no idea. Like for the bananas, I was supposed to be there for, for a day. I was on a temporary contract was supposed to go home the next day and probably go to work and it turns out I was in the lineup and Gillum kept me around for the last three summers and it's been the best summers of my life so two hours that's how it's done I just traded a kid a baseball for a hot dog no big deal just another day at the park you know? another day at the park I'm just a businessman out here doing my job the guy got out there and just said I'm here to have fun and from the first day he showed up here, he just embraced it. He's gonna be able to be talented on the field and then bring the energy and flip the switch when we need him to on the entertainment side. He's always doing something crazy, he's always having fun. So I think fans absolutely love that. He plays with a lot of energy, plays with a lot of enthusiasm, and that's what makes Bill Bill. He created nanner fishing. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but nanner fishing is one of a kind. He actually took a banana and put it on a hook and he catches fish with a banana. All right, boys and girls, we're out here on the Quack Smacker today. I'm Billy Bob Leroy. This is nanner fishing. We're gonna teach Kyle here how to catch a fish today. Kyle, give me your best cast. Go ahead. You want me to cast this one? Give me a cast. Show me a practice cast. Oh, f that wasn't supposed to go out in the water like that. Don't worry, I got another one. Okay, cool. So you got three ways to catch a fish, Kyle. And it all involves these two things right here. You got a banana and you got your special dirt. This I came fresh from Savannah Banana Home Plate Dirt. And I'm going to show you how to use you it right here. You didn't take that off the mound, right? No, nah, I took it right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your hook exposed, all right? And you're going to rip it. First of all, you're going to rip a banana up. You're going to take it and you're going to rip it wide open just like that. And this is perfect. There's three different types of bananas, Kyle. You got a, a you got a ripe banana, a non-ripe banana, and a mushy one. Which one's that? This one's the mushy one, because this is the time of day they eat mushy. Yeah. So here we go. What you gonna do? You're gonna take it and you're gonna slide that banana right there on your hook, just like that. Now open up that jar for me, Kyle. Open up that. Don't touch any of it. That's for me to touch. So here we go. Open her up, pop her open. Come on. You're gonna take your dirt just like this, and you're gonna and look at that and that right there is called the salty banana i can't tell you why so here we go so now we're going to trademark do, now we're going to do get your hook off now kyle i ain't gonna hold this you. thing's a hook i ain't gonna hold your hand now this is called a hook. i ain't gonna hold your hand i will bait your hook for you though open your hook up you're gonna slide her on just like that press her in good now press her in good now why'd you close that i ain't touching it man why'd you close that now oh, look you lost no. your damn you lost your banana and here we go. Oh, they're still going to bite it? Yep, we'll just go with another piece, just like that. Here you go. Shove this that one, bad boy on there. This one's a free buffet. There we go. Now put her on there. 
just like that. And here we go, the salty banana. All right, now cast that bad boy out there. So you're gonna take him just like this. Here we go. Now we're fishing, boys. Now we are fishing. Fishing for largemouth bananas, baby. Good cast, baby. We're about to reel in two right now. Stay tuned. I was blessed with good parents and good grandparents. Uh, you got athletic blood, so the yep. only thing that can make you fail is you. Exactly. Yep. All you got to do now is want to and, and do it. That's a problem. Party's here. Get it in, fellas. Get it in. Uh, everybody's like, I guess their first impression is like, who's the, who's the guy who's getting all the attention off the bat? And they think, I'm here for three years. Uh, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. It gives a whole new meaning behind the mask. 